questionable. Guys, these are the most Chinese instructions I've ever seen in my entire life. I was gonna say manual, piece of paper that it comes with is pretty much so probably the same, if not less length than this uh, buy one, get one breakfast sandwich from McDonald's. But the first part is we have to attach these three pieces so that they're one. This goes like this, so let's flip her on over. This thing is cheap. You know, it's pretty, oh wow, okay. Yeah, it doesn't line up for shit. Again, Chinese, but see that? That's with it fully seated down. And again, you're gonna be seeing it from like this, way down on the ground, but still. Come on, right? Again, guys, if we, if we wanted a good one, if the car wasn't so damn low to the ground, and I knew whatever I threw under there wasn't gonna get scratched and destroyed immediately, then I would have, you know, spent a little bit more money. Obviously, knowing that this thing is going to get absolutely mangled. All right, so that is, it's pretty light. This thing's pretty damn big. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to do with one person, but we shall see. See, we're going for the ultimate rice Audi, all right? After like 20 minutes of finagling and trying to get this thing on these blocks of wood that you see, because there are no hoists currently available at the shop right now. We got her. We got her up. Uh, it only took half an hour. Hopefully that will give us just enough room to do this. First thing, free clean this whole bottom section because we do have some adhesive that goes on this. And I'm just using a solvent-based wax and grease remover. It don't gotta be nothing crazy. Just, and this, <laughs> this plastic's pretty uh, jagged and rough, so it'll probably be pretty good at sticking to. Last thing you want is, well, it is a Chinese spoiler, so it'll probably fall off anyway. So the freaking instructions with this thing are, I'll show you guys in a second. The instructions consist pretty much of a freaking McDonald's coupon for a free breakfast sandwich, like I said before. I feel like the McDonald's coupon gives you a better idea on what you're actually reading about. Just really wanna be sure it's as clean as we can possibly get it. Good. Hang on guys, this, this has to do with the instructions here, okay? So there's three, count them, three instructions for this entire assembly, right? It says the mounting kit we provide includes 3M tape and self-tapping screws. 3M double-sided tape for mock-up purposes. This shit's called super double-sided mounting tape. And it's, you know, bing chilling on the back. The using of 3M tape is only for pre-positioning. It is required, it, I'm, I'm not reading this wrong. It's right here. It is required the hardware connecting. Therefore, we prepare self-tapping screws to install through the holes pre-cutted. Don't buy their shit, guys. Here's their name. Don't, don't, please, for the love of God, don't buy this. This guy, these people. I'll leave a link in the description to what this actually was. I'll get this thing cleaned off, haven't done that yet. Apply the tape to it, mock it up to the bottom of the front bumper cover, and then we'll start drilling. So I am gonna use my own self-tappers for the first bit here. Oh boy. And is this gonna fit properly? Is it gonna cooperate with me? We're not, we're not sitting there. Oh wow, that's actually pretty decent freaking tape. Okay. I actually got it pretty damn centered. We're just eyeballing that shit. All right, make sure that's up as high as we can get it. They just provided regular self-tappers for the whole thing, but it is Taiwanese. They say they're made in the USA. They're made in, it's true, they are made in the USA, but they're made in the United States of Asia. The proper way, God damn it! The proper way to do this is to either rivet it or have some kind of locking nut or something on the backside so that these don't ever come out. But for fuck, we do not have that. What we have is a Chinese chin spoiler. Oh, fuck. Dude. 
Oh my God. Hey, it'll protect my bumper, right? Nope. If anything, it's gonna rip the whole bumper off when something hits it. I'm just gonna put all the hardware in that they say, and then whatever happens, happens, right? They can't be like, oh, you didn't put all the right hardware in. That's why it fell off on you. Uh, I will give them one thing. They did put the holes in pretty good positions. See that gap? Come over here. This one sucked in a little more, but it has the same amount of poke out back here. I don't know. I could probably, I could actually, if I loosen that, push that in a little more, I might, might, repeat, might be able to get it sucked in just a little bit more. This GoPro is currently a thousand degrees. That's probably not good. Is that better? Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be what it's it, what it is. Go. All right, there she is, boys. You know, it doesn't look terrible. She's on, she looks pretty decent. We're gonna bring her over to the car wash literally right next to the shop here. And we'll see truly, once the paint's nice and clean, cause it's dirty as hell right now, we'll see how this actually looks. Like 120 bucks for that, I, th I think it was actually like 110. But for that, that really isn't that bad. It's finished nicely, it's decently painted. It's not paint meshed, okay? It's supposed to be for a, whatever, I forget whatever the color code for this Audi is, but it's supposed to be, you know, paint matched to it. It is not, it's not in the slightest. But it's close enough to where you're not like, like I said before, pay for what you get. But let me shut up, let's go over to the car wash, wash this thing off, give it a nice cleansing, and then we'll see how this looks out in the daylight. I just remembered this. I think I know what might kill this thing. That divot right there, if you guys can see it, might be this thing's demise. We don't know yet, but <laughs> we'll see. Imagine it gets ripped off like immediately. I'm like, damn. We just got back from the car wash. Let's go take a look at what this car looks like now compared to before with this chin spoiler on it. Guys, honestly, for the money, I kind of recommend it. If you don't want to pay buku bucks for a really nice chin spoiler and you know your car is either lowered or I don't know where you usually drive, you know it's gonna get beat up, I recommend it. I recommend this spoiler. Take it, what, the first thing you do, take those instructions, crumple them up in a ball and throw them away. It's super simple. I recommend it if you meet that criteria, like I just said before. If you don't care about it, or if you know it's gonna get beat up. If you're if you're doing a nice car, a really nice car that's in really good condition, buy an OEM spoiler, or buy a higher quality spoiler than that thing. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos coming over the channel, more stuff with the Audi coming here, more stuff with the Monte Carlo that has to go away pretty soon here for storage, because winter time's coming up again. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next one.